Hello, everyone, and welcome to this episode of our Realistic American Park series. So, as you can see, things have changed since our last episode and since our stream. That is because we're going to change styles here a little bit. So, I've done so quite a bit of work here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what we've done in that in that time between these episodes, and we're going to come up with something to build possibly something that interacts with this. We might be able to put something in here. But, uh, we just opened up the park and opened up the rides. So, we will have guests coming in soon. So, let's see. Oh, okay. So, one thing I did, did you did change is I put a block section in here so I did modify that curve a little bit got a block block section in here so hopefully we can run some more people through this ride we added this um, drop ride and this one over here this one's going right now and we added this we also put in a whole bunch of more trees throughout here and up here and the biggest noticeable thing that we did is we put in another staff building here, a bathroom, I believe, here. It might be first aid, actually. Yeah, it's a first aid. And some <laughs> gift shops there. So, okay, cool. So we're about so that's for the most part that's all we really did a lot of trees we did do some stuff with some lighting a little bit of lighting mainly just over here though so now we've got that all lit up over there so match the other lighting that we have for it this is red white and blue that's just whatever it was and I believe that is red white and blue as well yes I think the lights are only white though on that ride. We didn't do anything back here yet, or obvious, or anything with that ride. So, first thing I think we want to do here, since we're getting more stuff, is probably need to get some trash cans in. Let's go back to daytime, and uh, yeah, I think if we can get some trash cans in, that'll definitely help. This thing is what kind do we really want to use the most common kind you're gonna normally see in American parks are probably either this one or this one which are kind of odd you don't see too much with this you might see those at some of the theme parks though so I think if we put and I do want to put them on the paths so, I want to go one on each side of this path, because this is a guest services building. And then we're going to try to try to spread them fairly equally across the park. Now, obviously, these can actually be placed anywhere, so we'll probably put them there. Uh, maybe one there. That way that leaves that open, and maybe we can put a logo or something on the side of that. Go here and I'm gonna put a couple by this entrance because of the guest services stuff. And then we're gonna go right at the end of the ramps for the coaster. So, yeah, you probably wouldn't see them on both sides right here because it's such a narrow path. You would in Cases like this, where it's large enough to do that, but kind of don't want to block the flowers, but we're going to go there. We'll put one right here and one right here. It would be quite common to see them actually right next to the <laughs> entrances to rides because you have to be able to get rid of anything that you can't take with you. Quite often, they don't have a way to store anything. So we're going to go right here. Right 
here, right there. Now those two are relic pretty close together, and we haven't done this side yet. We'll put one there. And here. So that's a lot of those. We'll put one here. And of course right at the end of the ride. No. And right there. We try to keep them relatively evenly spaced, but we definitely want to get um, a couple near the end of the rides. Because some people don't handle rides as well as others. So, here's that one there. Okay, and we're gonna go here. And right here. Gonna be right outside the ride. Probably should have put it on that side, then it's fine. Oh uh, yeah. Put one right here. And another thing we need to do still is we need to put some benches in. Um, let's put this one here. That keeps that spacing close to consistent. Put this here. And we got one on there, so let's put one here. And we'll go right there beside that. So, if you notice the sounds doing being a little different than nor than our previous episodes, I've made some adjustments to try to remove some of the static from the feed off the microphone, but it's a little touchy. Occasionally, it doesn't actually let our voice pick up so we're still working on fine-tuning that but hopefully we will have new um uh, some changes coming here soon with that i still need to put some st more stuff in here because this is a big area with nothing in it so we'll have to do something there and we're getting slowly getting through here with all of these trash cans. And yeah, there are a lot of trash cans. So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the episode here for until I get. Alright, so got all those trash cans and I think that's all of them we need currently. So, yeah, this ride is massively popular still. <laughs> but we are actually capable of moving more people now. So, that does help. It's only a 13 minute queue instead of a what, almost 20 minute queue. That was like this. So we did save some time there. But the next thing we're going to look at is try to put something in here. Now, I don't know if I want to do... <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I don't know if I want to do something like... Chairlift style or... Something like this. Or do I want to do something with... Like a log flume or a river rapids do... I think we could probably put a log flume in here. I think we probably have enough room to manage to do that. But also, yeah, I'm not sure. Because if I don't know if I have enough room to turn them around. I could start putting in something to transport to the other end. Or even possibly a river ride. See, because if I look at what we have for existing river rides, I think this is one. Nope, that's not one of those. This one is. The 
they don't take up a ton of space but obviously more space than what we have right here and also that starts right at the top that's interesting um but log flumes can fit in a little bit tighter space but i think if i spin it this way we're still too big because we can't, don't have the property space over here it would work if they had more property there but so maybe we do something see i really don't want to do the flat rides because they're just kind of boring so maybe we can get away with the small like kid coaster in here so we'll go ahead and look at that custom coasters so we're gonna look at like a kid coaster or some sort of like that the junior coasters because that would kind of fit up here or maybe we can do something with this possibly let's see here if i can rotate this in a way i think i might be able to get away with this maybe but the first thing i need to do, gonna do yeah well, obviously we're gonna climb We'll go with that, but I actually want to grab the back of this. And we're going to build a series of... A block series right here. With short little dinky tracks between them. Because... I'm gonna try to get as many okay there we go now let's go up and we're gonna go a little bit longer because we're also going to turn we're gonna have a spiral turn down can I turn it this way can I get it around I think I can get it around there maybe Real, really, really close. I'm gonna make that work. Okay. What can I do to make that work then? go almost perfectly flat there so there we've got that and now we can straighten out awesome so we got that for our end connection now look we can go back over here so a lot of this ride is actually going to it's not gonna be super tall because we're looking at a junior coaster we're not looking at something big So, we're going to go right here, and we're going to kind of go, we're going to try to drop into this, I think. So, I'm... going to see if I can kind of guide this down and drop into this hole. Um. Like that. Let's see what that kind of does. 
that brings us down really quick so so we're gonna go here go down let's see if I can do anything here don't think I have anything that'll work there no so back to the standard track here we're gonna go up we're gonna do a quick look up and then we're gonna like that and drop down now this isn't really supposed to be a let's build series so we're gonna try to keep the building on this one to the minimum but obviously there's gonna be some building along with doing this and I think I want to go out over that so we're gonna go up swing left swing left the right. So I'm gonna go out this way. Now we're gonna try to do something. Now obviously with the goal with this is we're not gonna go upside down but we need to still make it fun, entertaining, and we're trying to make it kind of interact a lot with the other ride. Now, yeah, this is going to have a really flat over that, which I might be able to change a little bit. If I bring these around, I can smooth that out. But, oops, sure, but we have to kind of still keep that junior style. We're going to kind of crash down right beside that again. kind of build up a little bit more speed again. Let's get down onto that. We don't want to go under our platform here because there's not much room. Come back up. Uh -uh. Yeah. We have to keep in mind oh, we are too close to that. <laughs> that the ride has to get back here. So we're going to do another drop set and then we're going to come back up. So no loops with this coaster. After we get this building, we're going to go test it, see what people actually think. Hopefully it's not too bad because I'm building this very quickly with not much of an idea of what I wanted to do with it up until I started doing it. So hopefully this one won't be too bad. I won't be able to get a few posters in here, but... I have to get down to match 26 feet. I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna put some a block section there. And a straight section. And another block. And then we're gonna auto-complete from here. Awesome. So I think this will work. Let's go ahead and get this built. Let's do one quick smoothing of the entire ride. Which is easier said than done in this case. Because the design doesn't make this easy. So there, we got that all selected. Almost got the entire ride selected. We'll have the entire ride selected in two seconds. Now we're going to... Okay. Smooth that out, make that look a little bit better, a little smoother. Now let's go ahead and do some logistics changing. Block section trains. I think... And go one more. 
like you'd actually do two more, but where's the fifth? Obviously, there's going to be a little bit of a wait here. I guess that would be five. Oh, that didn't quite make that for some reason. So, we'll have to look at that real fast. Why is that a little bit higher or something? We'll do that. And that should fix that issue, I guess. I don't know why that's any different. Maybe just don't come off fast enough. <laughs> but I think this will work. The fun part will be actually getting an entrance and an exit in here because I didn't give myself much room with that ride. Because I don't believe I can come this way at all. So, let's look at that. How am I going to do that? I may actually have to make the exit come off this way or something. I'm going to have to do something probably to make this work, but... I don't think I can come off with the entrance right there, no. Can't even get the exit in there. So, I'm thinking I'm going to have to flip this around. Which is not that bad. Not that hard to do. I think it's under... I guess I have to open the right... or go to the edit mode to do it. I flip that around. That should be easier. I think. Entrance and exit. Entrance. Exit. And then, we're going to bring the entrance down this way. I'm coming in, but... And... I'm going to come... I don't know why I brought that down to the ground, because... I don't think I can get past the... Maybe I can. Let's try this. Let's see if I can get on this side of it. I think I can't. So let's make this a little bit shorter. So I can get a little bit tighter curve. <laughs> and go right there. For the entrance. The exit is going to be a little bit more difficult here. Um, so we're going to go here. No, no with gain. Jump this way. And we're gonna climb over. And we're gonna try to come out right beside that one, I think. I think we may be matching the lift of the ride, though. Uh, yeah. Well, that one didn't make it for some reason. Uh, also, for some reason, we have all of them on the same section. Okay, so we'll have to play with that. Uh, so maybe we'll have to just go down, I guess. I don't know what's going on there. I'll have to figure that out, because that's a little odd. So we're going to bring the exit of this ride right there. Perfect. So there's that. Uh, it's got a weird bulge in it. We'll fix that up. There we go. And then... Let's take a look at what's going on here, because this is odd. Uh, operations? It's block section, so how did five trains get through? I'm very confused on how five trains just got through on a black section track. Oh, so let's see here. Do we not clear this hill for some reason now? 
I may have to bring that hill down a little bit. Because there's no way that five, six, five trains should be making it through. Um, Alright, so I'm going to take a look at this and then we'll wrap the episode once we get working. Alright, so... We're going to... Be... We got that. It's not too scary. It's not too exciting. It's not terrible in the nausea. If I look at it this way... But, let's get pricing here. Let's make it match everything else. That's zero. Um, and let's go to open the ride. And then we're going to go ahead and take a ride on this. Before we can. And then we'll, after that, we will go ahead and wrap up. In the next episode, we'll cover some more detailing, building a station for this. Hopefully we'll have names for these three coasters that we already built and get a name for this as well. But this ride may be popular, may not. I'm not sure. We'll have to, I'm trying to click on somebody here so I can see where they're going. Yeah, this may be really popular because all of my other coasters are... Yeah, I think this is going to be a really popular ride. But all of the other coasters are, like, very thrill ride coasters. I'm not sure how long the ride is. I didn't actually read through all the results here. Uh, 140 degrees, so yeah, we'll be probably fine. So we're starting to get some people down here now. So I think this will be, go ahead and catch a ride on this one, maybe? Or possibly the next one. And here we go. Alright, so, as soon as this guy gets in, gets in, which it should be getting in just here in a second, it's definitely going to be a busy ride, I think. We will grab one of these guests once they get off and try to get their thoughts. Oh. 
Alright, so let's go ahead and grab a hold of one of these guests and see what their thoughts are. just one group. <laughs> cool. So, obvious. So the nothing really impressive. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Follow us on all of our social media at Mike Tycoon. Check out our latest video here. And a video just for you here. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.